Louisiana baseball went 3-1 last week, including a series win over High Point. The Cages now have a date with Mississippi State Wednesday before starting Sunbelt play this weekend. But first, you all would have to avoid the trap game against Jackson State. It was a rainy start for the Cajuns and Tigers as UL held a 4-0 lead after three, but it was Cooper Rawls that was bringing the thunder on the mound. He came in for Blake McGahee in the third and threw six strikeouts in five innings of work to keep JSU at bay. Bottom fifth runner on third for Julian Brock and call him Geico because he's all about adding insurance. His sack fly here to left is going to score Kyle DeBarge to make it 5-0 Louisiana. Top of the seventh, Jackson State threatening with runners in scoring position and no outs, but Rawls has a rocket for a reason. He gets Jordan Young swinging on the third out. He allowed only one hit and no runs. And if a 5-0 lead wasn't enough, with two on, Heath Hood says, here's another donation to the big piggy bank. The sack fly makes it six zip, and Louisiana completes the shutout, 7-0. I think coming out here tonight and you know we we expected to do that we expect to do this every night and doing it i think just builds confidence in the whole staff not just the guys who threw tonight he's a good matchup against aggressive swingers uh because it's three pitches anytime in the count and he's going to throw a lot of strikes and he's got a good slider good change up and he's got enough sink on that fastball to keep you honest